Welcome to NUS Law. My name is Professor David Tan. I'm Vice Dean Academic Affairs. This means I oversee the teaching curriculum at NUS. NUS Law was founded in 1957. As you can see behind me, this has remarkable history dating back to the first batch of students who graduated in 1961. Amongst them was former Chief Justice Chan Se Kyung, as well as Ambassador at Large Professor Tommy Ko. If you join us, you'll be part of this illustrious history of amazing legal personalities in Singapore. We are ranked number one in Asia and number 13 in the world. It is a heritage that we are proud of at NUS Law. So what can NUS Law offer you? We have a four-year LLB program. That's the standard Bachelor of Law program. And we also have a three-year JD program, which is currently called the Graduate LLB program for those who already have a previous degree. And in addition, we have a double degree program, uh, which is done in five years, where you can combine law with life sciences, with economics, with business administration, for instance. We also have a vibrant exchange program. Half of the cohort will go and exchange to a number of universities, at least 52 around the world, where they can spend one semester or two semesters overseas. Some students will get the opportunity to earn a Master of Laws program, that's called the LLM, at top law schools such as New York University, Toronto or Melbourne. So what do you learn at NUS Law? We prepare you for the future. We teach you how to use, create frameworks to analyze very complex issues. We enable you to see things from different perspectives to be able to do appropriate research to support your point of view. In our first year classes, we assist you in cultivating skills to be able to communicate effectively, whether through writing or through oral arguments. Last but not least, through technology, we help you to be able to harness technology in your legal learning, to learn about complex legal issues for the future, such as data analytics or legal data science. So what qualities are we looking for? In addition to academic excellence, we are looking for people with passion. That you have a passion in an artistic pursuit, a sporting activity, or simply doing volunteer work for the community. In the individual interviews, we put you through a hypothetical scenario where we ask you to analyze a particular issue, problem, and give us the answer. There's no correct answer, of course, but we want to make sure you can think and start thinking like a lawyer. We also look for dedication. We want people with integrity and also people with a diversity of interests, not just people who study very, very hard. At NUS Law, we have over 120 elective modules for you to choose from, and you can also choose a wide range of minors from other faculties. You can do 15 electives in the four-year LLB program, and you can read six relevant subjects, which is about 15% of your total LLB program from another faculty and declare a minor. The minors open a wide range of opportunities for you in many possible career pathways. For instance, you can declare a minor in business analytics, in computer science, in communications and new media, in economics or forensic science. Our law elective subjects span a broad spectrum, which includes Asian legal studies, international arbitration and dispute resolution, corporate and financial services law, and maritime law. We hope you are able to take advantage of these clusters uh, when you are planning what you might want to do as a lawyer or in different career pathways that you choose. We have a number of internships and externships, which my colleague, Professor Eleanor Wong, will talk about 
uh, where you can spend some time in a law firm or with the foreign service or with banks and multinational corporations. At NUS Law, we know that you may not want to be a lawyer, but you want that law degree to be a passport to many destinations of your choice in the future.